In our discussion on double entry bookkeeping, we did mention the books of prime entry as being the source of figures posted in the general ledgers. These books are critical in a manual system that follow Venetian accounting system where important details such as date, amount, description, etc. are necessary. In this video, we dive into the books of prime entry where we will also explain the link to the general ledgers. If you have not watched the video on double entry bookkeeping, please follow this link right here. And since you will also be interested in control accounts by extension, please check this one here too. Hello and welcome to the accounting feed. My name is Philan and I'm your host for this session. Any business transaction is evidenced by a source document. Some of the source documents include invoices used to demand or request for payment, receipts used to confirm monies paid or received, credit notes used to cancel part or all of the invoice, debit notes which if received from the customer are used to request for credit note but if sent to the customer used to correct an undercharge. From what he learned in the double entry bookkeeping session, each transaction affects two separate accounts where one is debited and another one is credited. However, if ledgers were to be updated each time a transaction occurred, the ledger accounts would quickly become congested, messy and error prone. To avoid this, the data from the source documents are first extracted into the books of prime entry. We can therefore define books of prime entry as books used to record business transactions for the first time before they are transferred into separate general ledger accounts. Examples of books of prime entry are 1. Sales day book. This is used to record the sales made on credit. 2. Purchases day book. This is used to record purchases made on credit. 3. Sales returns or return inwards day book. This is used to record returns by customers that had been sold on credit. 4. Purchase return or return outwards day book. This is used to record purchases returned to suppliers that had been purchased on credit. Number 5. Cash book. This is used to record all cash receipts and payments. Number 6. Petty cash book. This is used to record all small cash expenses such as purchase of stamps, parking coupons, etc. Number 7. The journal. This is used for adjustments and correction of errors. That means that it records all other transactions that have not been identified up there. Importance of books of prime entry. Books of prime entry have the following benefits. Number 1. Provide a chronological record of transactions and as such you can obtain day-to-day -day data that is up to date. Number two, help to minimize the possibility of errors. This is because books of prime entry provide a summary of all transactions. Therefore, if used properly, all the transactions that have occurred will be captured. Number three, provide a basis for ledger posting as the totals in these books will be posted in the general ledgers whose balance will appear in the trial balance. Number four, provide information necessary for future references since they obtain their data from the source documents. Therefore, in case you want to verify the existence of a particular transaction, you can make reference to them. Five, act as backup if original records or source documents are misplaced. So generally speaking, books of prime entry are critical in the preparation of financial statements. And as you can see in this process that I have here, the data is extracted from the source documents, posted in the books of prime entry, then the totals in the books of prime entry will be posted in the ledger accounts. From here, the ledger accounts will be balanced off and the balances extracted to the trial balance, after which the year-end adjustments such as inventory, depreciation, accruals and prepayments, receivables expenses, etc. will be done and then from there we can prepare the financial statements. This marks the end of our session today. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in accounting and finance topics, make sure to subscribe to this channel, The Accounting Feed. If you have any questions on this topic or on any area that you feel you want a video on, please post it in the comment section below. Feel free to share this video and this channel to anyone you know might be interested in this type of content.
do not be stingy. And until the next one, cheers.